Before Daisy Ridley woke up the force. Before she would draw in a few comparisons to fellow British actress Kira Knightley. Before her social media accounts would experience a force of their own growing from a few friends to millions of followers. Before she appeared topless in the sci-fi film Blue Season. Before her and Oscar Isaac would melt hearts singing Baby It's Cold Outside. I really can't stay. Baby it's cold outside. I've got to go The baby is cold outside. Daisy Ridley is a well-trained London actress who can also sing and dance. Yeah, the girl is a triple threat. Now, although she already had family in the entertainment business, she wasn't entirely sure if acting was for her. Then she took an extended trip to India, she came back, dropped out of school, and began auditioning. She appeared on a number of British television programs and even earned herself a BAFTA nomination. Then the young girl hit the actor lottery when she got cast in the protagonist role of the largest movie franchise of all time, playing Rey in Star Wars. Now a lot of people are calling this an overnight success story, but the girl had been training long and hard for some time. So she deserves the force and all them royalty paychecks that come with it. Good for her. My name is Michael McCredden and welcome to Before They Are Famous, documenting the life of Daisy Ridley prior to fame. Here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now I'm doing a whole bunch of Star Wars actors here on this channel. Be sure to let me know who you want to see in the future on Before They Are Famous, After They Are Famous, and Before They Are Dead. Alright, let's get into this bio. Daisy Ridley was born Daisy Jazz Isabel Ridley on April 10th, 1992 in Westminster, London, England. She is the youngest of five sisters, one of whom, Kika Rose, is also in the entertainment business signed with the prestigious Model One Agency. Her parents, Chris Ridley, a photographer, and Louise Faulkner Corbett is a publicity manager. Acting is certainly in her blood. Her great uncle, Arnold Ridley, he's known as an actor and a playwright for playing Private Charles Godfrey in Dad's Army, a long-running British sitcom. What's this great lump of string hanging down here? Where's that? Ah! And her great grandfather, William Victor Faulkner Corbett, well, he served as a colonel for the British Army in World War I. Ah! Now, as a child, Daisy states that she was a little bit of a bad apple. Her parents called her naughty and thought if they kept her busy, she might be a better behaved young girl. So they decided to apply to a boarding school. She got accepted and she also received a scholarship. She was enrolled at Tring Park School for the Performing Arts in Hertfordshire. Now, this is an independent boarding school that specializes in singing, dance, and acting, and she was there from the ages of 9 to 18, although she didn't get involved in the acting department until her later years. That being said, her teacher, Miriam Jouvelet, has since stated that Daisy was a standout performer and had star quality even early on in her training. Her education left her skilled at tap, ballet, jazz, as well as Latin American dancing. She also learned how to sing jazz and cabaret. Following her graduation in 2010, she then enrolled at Burbeck University in London where she was studying classical civilizations. But she wasn't too happy. She decided to take a leave of absence and go on a trip to India. There she would reflect on her life and the journey she was going on and she decided she was going to drop out of school and give acting a go. That's when she began auditioning. She booked her first job quickly, appearing in the TV show Youngers as character Jessie. From there, she booked the role of Hannah Kennedy in the BBC crime drama Silent Witness. Then in the ITV series Mr. Selfridge as Roxy Starlet opposite Jeremy Piven. Then as Fran Bedingfield in the BBC comedy Casualty. She also played the character of Sarah in the sci-fi short film Blue Season. This was entered into London's 48-hour film festival. And that's the film where you can see the girl topless. I'm actually shocked Disney executives were like, we're gonna hire a girl who's put some nudity out there. Well, I'm glad they did. And she did it for art. And the girl looks fantastic, right? Around this time, she also found love starting a relationship with fellow actor Charlie Hamlet. She then went on to book her first role in a film. It was the third film in a series known as Lightsaber. No, 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 no. I did not say Lightsaber. I said Lightsaber. This was an interactive epic. She played the character of Joe. And for her work, she picked up a BAFTA award. In April of 2014, it was announced that she would play Rey in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I told my dad, and then he was kind of sleeping, and he went, Jesus Christ. I think your mum told me something, and I was like, no, 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 I told you that. And then he went, oh, I was always more of a Trek fan. Now, to prepare for this role, she stated that she began working out five hours each and every day. She also got on a strict diet where she would only eat fish, vegetables, and protein shakes. Now, although we'll have to wait till the eighth episode to find out exactly who Ray's parents are and why she was left on Jakku, it turns out she already knows all that information, but she ain't telling. 
the rest of the story? Well, you know the story because this is before they were famous. My name is Michael McCredden and I'm doing celebrity bios on all sorts of people in Hollywood. We've done actors, we've done YouTubers, we've done rappers, we've done people from the adult film world. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next. Now if you want to hear more about people from Star Wars, I've done Adam Driver, Oscar Isaac's on its way, and John Boyega. Yeah, my buddy Dave Wapple helped me out with that one, so I think I've done quite a few. But if you want to see some after they were famous, perhaps on Jar Jar Binks, I can do that. Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCrudden, I'll see you guys in another video.